What's the beauty in being single and what's the beauty of being with a partner? Today's video is sponsored by Google Fi. Google Fi is a phone plan by Google. I went with the Unlimited Plus specifically for the travel perks and I've gotta say, if you travel a lot, this plan is amazing. You'll get 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, full hotspot access, and full-fledged use of your phone basically anywhere around the world. I can't tell you how many times I've traveled overseas and had to rely on Wi-Fi or try and find a SIM card somewhere, but it's always been a hassle. Another huge reason why I went with Fi is because there's a built-in VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. I use VPNs all the time, especially on my computer. That'll put you on an encrypted private connection. So in case you're on an important phone call, um, using public Wi-Fi or like signing an important document, you just have that extra layer of security and protection um, and that gives me a peace of mind. You can also block spam calls. I get so many spam calls a day and I feel like it's just getting worse and worse. I know it's not just me because my friends complain about it as well. So with Google Fi, I gotta say the privacy Security, all of that is on point. Currently, I'm on the unlimited plan for myself, but they make it super easy to add lines. The more lines that you add, your monthly cost will go down, which is awesome. I've been using five for about a month now, and honestly, I have no complaints. So if you guys are interested, you can learn more about Google Fi at fi.google.com. The only thing about filming alone is that even though I want to use a wider aperture, I don't want the autofocus to hunt. I'm at 3.2 right now, which I like, but is it hunting? I feel like a tech review. Just finished my breakfast. I had an omelet. It was delicious, minimal ingredients, but very, tasty, high in protein. In my last video, I talked a little bit about my fitness goals, which are to gain lean muscle. It was about maybe a month ago where I just had this realization that I wanted to set some goals, train as hard as I can train and eat super healthy 
and just see where it takes me. I feel like I thrive when there is a goal or task at hand. I have something to put my energy and time to. Within the week, I'm doing a mixture of uh, CrossFit, uh, personal trainer, and boxing. So I'll do those three different workouts in rotation for six days. And then Sunday I get to chill. Yeah, I feel like a sponge and I'm just absorbing all of this information. I will say when you remove like sugars and a lot of like sodium, you appreciate like whole foods so much more on their own and you can really taste the flavors. It's just like a different experience. So I'm kind of like retraining my palate. It's tough on some days, but uh, I still allow myself to, you know, have a really bomb meal on the weekends. I'm really trying to focus on doing it in a way that's gonna set me up for success. Everything is all about balance, and if you go too hard with anything, you're going to burn out or be super unhappy. Um, and I really want this process to be like smooth sailing. So those are just like a few things that I'm implementing right now. Ow. Oh my god. What's the beauty in being single and what's the beauty of being with a partner? This is a lovely question. I really like this question and I'm just gonna freestyle it. I'm gonna speak for myself and being single along with just living alone. The beauty of being single is that you don't have to worry about anyone else. All of your time is spent on you or whomever you wanna extend that to. If you live with your partner, not only are you thinking about like what you're gonna eat today, you're gonna think about, well, what does your partner wanna eat too? Or I need to make double the amount of food for them. You know, living alone is great because everything is where you left it. You don't have to worry about anyone else coming in and just moving things around or leaving the toilet seat up or hair in the sink or dishes in the sink, you know, all of those things. I don't have to worry about which is really nice because my space is my sanctuary and in order for me to function and be creative and do work my space has to be clean and just having your alone time obviously it's a lot of it which can be a bit lonely at times i would say another thing that's great about being single is obviously because i'm alone like i'm not I don't have anyone to bicker with. <laughs> that happens all the time in relationships. You fight about bigger things, but you also fight about like stupid stuff and it can kind of affect your entire day, like the smallest thing, especially if your partner's energy is off. And being single, you don't have anyone to tend to, no one else is really there to ruin your mood. Like if you're in a bad mood, you're not really blaming that on anyone else. As much as I do yearn for connection and company and, you know, physical touch, like I also need my space. Only when I'm alone am I able to have that bonding time with myself and it's absolutely necessary for me. I need 
to be able to reset and do my daily practices that help me feel more in tune with my inner self. That's all that comes up as of right now for being single. And then the beauty about being with a partner is that it's just the opposite of everything that I said. Like it's really doing life with someone else and it allows you to practice very selfless acts. Life isn't just revolving around you. Being able to have an intimate connection with someone, being able to confide in your partner when you're having a bad day or something um, really huge is happening in your life, whether good or bad, like you have someone to just listen to you and act as a soundboard or get advice from. You have someone to do just the mundane things with. Those are the moments that I miss about a relationship. It's just so fun to pick up and go get ice cream or go grab food. That doesn't really cross my mind. Like I don't think like, let me just go do this on my own. I will eat by myself from time to time, but I'll never just be at home and think, let me just go branch out and grab some boba by myself. I don't really do that. I'm not as spontaneous when it's just me. I think that's a perk about being in a relationship and just not ever feeling like you're alone. Yeah, when you're single, all of that time for yourself is great and you can utilize that in healthy ways, but I do believe that as humans, we it's natural for us to want to build with someone. I think it's healthy for someone to have experienced both. And I think regardless of which situation I'm in or you're in, you're always going to think the grass is greener on the other side. But you'll soon find out that it's really not because every situation will have its pros and cons. So it's not really about comparing, they're just different, but there is beauty in both situations. So yeah, that's the way that I see it. $18 strawberries. Who in the f would pay that much for some strawberries? The first time I bought these, I didn't know they were $18. I thought they were the typical you know, five, six dollar carton. It wasn't until the next time I went to purchase it, I realized that it's $18, which explained why they were so good. Because when I first had these, my mind was completely blown away. Mmm. Oh my God. It's so sweet. Listen, if we can pay to get our nails and our toes done or spend a grip at the bar, I can get me $18 strawberries and not feel guilty about it because I love berries so much. They're my favorite fruit, especially strawberries and blueberries. Call me basic. It is what it is. Once I kind of justified it like that in my head, I told myself, you know what? You're gonna buy these $18 strawberries with no regrets. So. That's what I've been doing. I don't buy them every week, but maybe twice a month. Boy, do I look forward to it, because they are delicious. In action. looking a lot better than how you just saw me. Sometimes I surprise myself on how crazy I can look. That is like me in full editing hermit mode. But I'm headed to West Hollywood because I'm grabbing lunch with a friend. Um, her name is Nikki and she's a music artist. I believe she's signed to 88 Rising. You guys may be familiar with her, but we first met in 
2015 or 16. I'm excited to just kind of reconnect and get some fresh energy. It's been a couple years since I've seen her, so I'm looking forward to it. Me and Bubba just want to come in and say bye-bye. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Google for sponsoring today's video. You can learn more about Google Fi at fi.google.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.